we can go. Hello, this is Ava Rowe, and today I'm going to tell you about Chapter 5 of To Kill a Mockingbird. In Chapter 5, Scout sits with Miss Maudie Atkinson on her front porch that summer because Scout feels left out with Dill and Jem playing the make-believe game and pretending to be Boo Radley. When Scout asks Miss Maudie if Boo Radley was still alive, Miss Maudie tells Scout that his name's Arthur and he's still alive. Miss Maudie explains to Scout the mistakes Boo Radley made when he was a kid. Scout feels sorry for Boo Radley instead of being scared of him. Scout, Dill, and Jim try to make Boo Radley come out of his house, and they got caught by Atticus trying to get a note to Boo Radley with a fishing pole. All right, <laughs> chapter six. Chapter six starts off with Scout and Jim spending time with Dale before he leaves for Meridian, Mississippi. Dale and Jim want to go peek inside the window to get a look at Boo Radley. Jim saw a shadow of a man with a hat on. It was Mr. Radley. A shotgun was heard through the neighborhood and they took off running and Jim got his pants stuck in the fence post and the only way for him to escape was to take them off. The neighbors were all out of their houses trying to figure out why there were gunshots. Jim told Scout and Dale that they should go out where everyone was so that things didn't look suspicious. Rachel Haverford asked Jim where his pants were and Dale made up a story by saying that they were playing strip poker which they they really weren't because Jim got his you know he got his pants stuck and and uh, that's why he <laughs> that's why he when you that because uh, he, uh, and that the only way for him to get out was to take them off. And, and I will, I will see you when chapter seven on To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, let me know when you're ready for the next one. You can go ahead and start with the next one. Yeah, thanks. Chapter 7. In Chapter 7 of To Kill a Mockingbird, Scout tries to relate to Jim on how he is going to the Radley place. Scout and Jim return to school after summer break, and Miss Caroline hasn't let Scout read or write. Jim finds his pants across the fence, and they are sewn up, but they weren't sewn very well. Jim and Scout found a ball of twine in the tree on the corner while walking home from school. Scout told Jim to leave it in case it was for someone else. Jem ended up taking the ball of twine after three days. Months later, they walked by the tree with the knot hole, and they found two pieces of soap that were carved like a boy and a girl 
just like Jim and Scout. They were trying to figure out who carved them. Two weeks later, they found a package of chewing gum. The following week, they even found they even found tarnished metal. It was a spelling metal. Then they found a pocket watch that wouldn't run on a chain with them an aluminum knife. Scout and Jim wanted to write a letter to see whose things these were and stick it in the knot hole. Scout and Jim think that it's Walter Cunningham's stuff. Later, when they went to put the letter in the knot hole, the knot hole was filled with cement. They saw Mr. Radley with cement tools. When they asked him why he was putting cement in the tree, he said that the tree is dying, so Scout and Jim think Boo Radley's responsible for the gifts they found. See you on the next episode of To Kill Mockingbird. So do you just do... Did you, did you do seven and eight together? Oh. No. Go ahead and do chapter eight. Okay. Okay, so... In chapter eight, in this chapter, it is winter for the first time in Maycomb, Alabama. Scout and Jim had never seen snow before because it had never snowed in Maycomb County. Scout and Jim walked by Miss Maudie's house and asked her if they could take her snow. She said they could, and they built a snowman. Miss Maudie told Jim and Scout that her plants would freeze in the cold, so they had to cover them up. Later, there was a fire at Miss Maudie's house, and Atticus told Scout and Jim to stand in front of the Radley place to be safe from the fire. Mr. Avery and the other men were trying to carry the furniture out of the fire. The men tried to put the fire out with the hose, but Miss Maudie's roof was in flames and Miss Maudie's possessions are gone. Smoke was rolling off Scout and Jim's house. Miss Maudie would stay at Miss Stephanie Crawford's for the time being.